hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you're viewing this video you have to know this is one of the videos from uh, the playlist uh, learning languages especially uh, uh, it's about figures of speech so in my previous videos I have uh, talked about other figures of speech but today we'll talk specifically about apostrophe and we're not talking about uh, the diacritical mark used, for example, in contraction uh, when you're writing and so on. So we are going to talk about apostrophe, which is a figure of speech, and we have the definition here. But before we get into this, let's uh, talk about the figures of speech we already know. Uh, if you, of course, uh, watched my previous videos. You can also do it after viewing this video, but just as a reminder, we talk about uh, what's a metaphor, um, metonymy, uh, uh, oxymoron, and onomatopoeia, a paradox, personification, a pun, uh, simile, and synecdoche, and finally, understatement. Okay, so if you don't know all these figures of speech, uh, these figures of speech will help you to make your speech writing uh, more vivid, more colorful, more interesting, and you're not going to always talk literally, and you're going to use uh, imagery and so on, which uh, gives um, another dimension to, uh, to your way of communicating. Okay, so let's get into uh, the the thing of the day i would say so we'll talk about apostrophe so an apostrophe is uh, a figure of speech and it's when you're addressing uh, someone you're addressing yourself to someone absent or maybe even dead or it might be god as well or uh, something non-human uh, so non-human can be God and uh, as if that person or thing was present. So uh, it means that when you're speaking, for example, sometimes you might say, Oh uh, God, so oh my God, if only you could help me right now. So you're talking about God, you're talking to God basically. And uh, it's an example of you making an exclamation. It, it might be in the form of an explanation. I should write it here uh, for, in the form of an explanation. In form of an explanation. Right. So, and let's see the first, uh, the first example. So, for instance, you can say, blow winds, blow. And that's when you're talking about the wind. So, the wind will not answer you back normally. <laughs> so, uh, blow winds, blow. Or snow, snow. <laughs> Rain, go away. Uh, come back another day. So, you're talking to uh, a non-human thing. And that's an apostrophe. And uh, let's see another example. So, for instance, you can also say, Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's a song. So, in songs, you can also make apostrophe. So, hello, darkness, my old friend. I don't know the song uh, really, but uh, uh, the melody should be a little bit like that. I come to talk to you again. And uh, it sounds like a beautiful song. Uh, actually, I should listen to it right after this video. And so it might be used in daily life uh, conversation or when you're making a, a monologue, which means that you're talking to yourself. A monologue, it's not a dialogue. A dialogue is when you're talking to someone else. And having a conversation is when you are... Uh, uh, well, you're having like a conference... Conversation is is a dialogue, yes, or uh, a monologue. But a conference is when you're talking to many people uh, in a group, for example. But um, if you're having a monologue, you can say, oh my God, uh, but you're talking to yourself, but at the same time, you're doing an apostrophe to God. 
And if you're talking to yourself, say, blow and blow, and you're talking to yourself, but uh, that's a monologue, but you're also apostrophing uh, the wind, right? So let's look uh, at another example of apostrophe, not as a decritical mark, like I said at the beginning, but as a figure of speech. Oh, mother, where would I be without your guidance? Oh, mother, where would I be without your guidance? But your mother is not necessarily in the room. You're not having a dialogue, but you're just uh, uh, speaking loud. Speaking loud is something that we say, oh, you're, you're thinking loud. or you, Yeah, it's not speaking loud. It's uh, thinking loud. I'm sorry about that. Loud. So... Are uh, you thinking? You're thinking loud. It means that you are. You are thinking loud. It means that you are. Uh, saying what you are thinking, okay? So you're saying it loud. So you're saying your thoughts loud, and uh, oh mother, where would I be without your guidance? But your mother is not here. Is not hearing what you're saying. And uh, that's why it's an apostrophe. So you're apostrophing your mother in your conversation, in your uh, in your saying, if if I might say that, uh, or in what you're saying. And because it's not a conversation, well, it, it's a conversation. Sorry. So you're apostrophing your mother in a conversation that you're having with yourself. Therefore, it's a monologue, and. Um, I don't know why I'm focusing a little bit on uh, monologue, dialogue, and conversation, conferences, and so on. But that's because I really like what I'm doing right now. And if you don't mind, so, well, that's also an apostrophe. Uh, it's kind of, you know, talking aside a little bit of what you are doing. And uh, is it an apostrophe? Uh, it's not an apostrophe, I guess. It's uh, uh, well. I should. I should look. Uh, maybe it will come back. I should look for it. I should search on internet what it is. But okay, your mother is not here, and you are addressing yourself to to her. But you know that she's not going to answer. So it's another example of an apostrophe. Let's look the last one. The last one is, Oh Romeo, Romeo, wherefore uh, art thou, Romeo? So, where are you, Romeo? Uh, oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Where are you, Romeo? So, this is from the f famous uh, uh, book. Uh, how to say? This is a drama. This is uh, from Shakespeare, of course. But uh, it's... A, how do you call this? It's a, it's a drama. It's a play. A famous play. It's a dramatic play, yeah, from uh, Shakespeare, a very old uh, story, uh, yeah. All right, so this is another example. Uh, when you are speaking to yourself, you are uh, lingering, I think, linger around. No, it's not lingering at all, but it's when you are thinking about someone very strongly and you want uh, to speak to that person so much that you start talking to that person and you're thinking that that person will uh, hopefully hear you somehow uh, uh, with the help of the, the forces in the universe maybe so you are just uh, voicing what your feelings are out and oh Romeo, Romeo Wherefore, wherefore art, uh, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Where are you, Romeo? So, okay, that's uh, that's nice. So we have seen uh, a lot of examples. So we know that apostrophes are used when you make exclamation, exclamations, uh, when you're having monologues. Not necessary, but when. Uh, uh, you you make some poses in your conversation if you want to let's say you are a public speaker you're on the stage you're giving a speech or you're teaching something 
and you just uh, go aside and you talk to yourself oh god and so on and you talk to the weather and you, so you might apostrophe someone or something and uh, that person per will not answer to you because maybe that person is absent or that person is already dead or that person is not human and uh, therefore you are making uh, you're having a monologue with yourself and you are apostrophing uh, people or things okay so this was not a uh, script of course i do i am doing everything uh, by improvisation so it's all live so uh, i i know that i am making some mistakes sometimes and i'm trying to uh, to rectify uh, where i i i i i how to uh, where I was confused or where I I made uh, a mistake so I tried to rectify life so if you have comments about this video of course feel free to uh, give your um, your uh, your opinions uh, in the comments down here and uh, so now you can use apostrophe sometimes uh, if you like to write uh, poems and so on and uh, this is also a very powerful tool uh, to make things more beautiful and um, so if you if uh, you would like to improve your English using apostrophe uh, for your writing uh, if you want to be a creative writer for example you want to write um, uh, short stories or you want to write poems and you want to be a poet uh, or a songwriter this is something that you should uh, know how to use and i hope that this video helped you to grasp the you know the to get the the gist of of this and give it a thumb up if you appreciate the effort and you like the content and subscribe to my channel if you want to be in touch and you can review or uh, have a look at the other videos in this series in the playlist uh, uh, learning languages and uh, thank you so much share this video with your friends this is a way that you can show your appreciation and support to me as I am now uh, trying to become um, hopefully in the near future, a professional YouTuber. Thank you so much and take care. Cheers.